Okay, so I've been playing around with full page OS and uh, I've managed to get it to do this. So if I just switch on my Pi 4, this also works with a Pi 2 and above as well. So after a brief startup, the system launches up and starts to play a YouTube video of my choice without sound. And it's playing it at 1080 as well. And the reason you'd use this would be for uh, like a fake window in a room. I've seen quite a few builds with Pis where people have you know, a room without a window and they put a nice view out of a window and just play a video and it, I think it looks pretty cool. So while this is running, I can access it from my iPad or anything else where you can SSH into it. So if we go into here, I've got this bottom one here, fullpageos.local and you can see that it shows me my CPU usage, memory and disk usage. And if I click on this one, I can reboot or halt the device. But if I click on CPU, this gives me this uh, readout of everything that's going on as well. And if I go into terminal, I can control it with terminal, shut it down and various other things. But let's have a look how we get it onto the Pi. So I've just shut it down with sudo shutdown dash h now. Let's unplug the memory card, just slightly, because I can plug it in again in a minute. Switch off and switch on again. And that will boot from the SSD that's in my Pi. It always tends to default from an SD card as standard. You can change that in config.txt, but I leave it as it is. Okay, so now it's booted up. Let's just pop my memory card in. Now have a launch imager. Go to choose OS. Scroll down to other specific purpose OS. You can see it says digital signage. Scroll down to full page OS. And I use the nightly build. Choose the storage. This is the SD card I've just put in and hit right. So I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. And my SD card is here. So if I click on the boot partition and open with file manager, I can now scroll down. There's a couple of things you can change. Now I'm using ethernet, so I haven't had to change anything network wise, but if you are using Wi-Fi, you need to open this one, WPA supplicant, and scroll down. And there's some information in here, so have a read through that. But basically what you're doing is you're telling it what sort of network you use. You don't need to change that if you're using one of these. And then you're putting your SSID, so the name of your network in between these speech marks. And then you're putting your password here. And that's it. Just save that and quit out of it. But the video that plays, or the website that plays, you can do all sorts of things on this, uh, is what you put in here. Now I've got, uh, I wanted to use this, uh, which is EarthCam. And if I open up Chromium, I'll just show you what it does. So I tried loads of webcams because I thought a webcam would be quite a cool thing because it's live. Um, but what tends to happen is they have all this stuff around the outside. So whether it's advertising information, whether uh, various different things that you might not necessarily want. Uh, if you click on full screen, uh, it is a very cool view. Let's just get rid of that pop up. And uh, this, every now and then they move this around. Now this is 3.51 a.m. in New York City. And so, uh, well, it's busier than most places at that sort of time of day, but it gets really, really busy at different times of the day. Loads of tables out here and loads of people eating and stuff like that. It's just a, it's just a cool view to have, just to have a look at something in the background. But if I hit escape and go back, uh, so this is the video I was using but you can't just copy a YouTube video in here. You've got to do some changes because I'll show you what happens when you do just a normal YouTube video. So on the desktop, I've got this text file, which I've got a few YouTube videos that I really thought were, were suitable for this sort of purpose. So let's paste that into the browser and show you what happens by default if you just go to a YouTube video. So as you can see, not very window-like, uh, also tends to play in whatever last resolution you were playing in. So we need to change a few things. And one of those, if we click on the URL and click after where it says watch and put in underscore pop up, and you'll see what will happen. So if I hit enter on that, that now is has launched in full screen, but it's not playing. So I need to copy that text. And then I'm gonna go to that document uh, so this one here, I can delete the EarthCam because I've used that now. And I'm just going to pop it here for now. But you can see there's various different things after here. Now the first one was uh, question mark autoplay equals one. 
but that doesn't work on its own uh, on the Chrome browser. It will on some other browsers, but Chrome-based browsers block any video that's not muted. So we need autoplay equals one, and then we need and mute equals one. So it's gonna play silently, but also I found that it was playing by default at 480, which looked really soft on this 1080 monitor. So I added this and VQ equals HD 1080. So let's grab all of that from the end and copy that and we'll just pop it on the end of this one. And now I can delete this one and just pop this right at the top and save that and close everything down. Actually, I'm going to put, because this was working, I'm going to put it in here just so I've saved it. So now let's shut that down and switch this off and switch it back on again and let's see what happens on auto boot and it's starting up, starting to go into auto play. Yeah, and it's playing full screen perfect and it looks really, really nice. What a lovely view. Now there is also on the Full Page OS uh, website, you can go and look up their information. There is a way of getting it to go between multiple URLs, which wasn't something I wanted to do, but they've got various different memes and things uh, that you can put in there. Um, but uh, if you're, say it was in a waiting room and you wanted it to switch between information and updates and stuff like that, I can see how that would be very useful. But this is the use that I was thinking would be nice to have up and running. So I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.